Hi, Moonbeams. This is Royalty, the High Priestess of the Bruja's Lair and CEO of the Bruja's Lair. Um, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel, like my videos, um, comment on um, my posts, comment on the videos, like them. Um, I really do appreciate all the positive energy you guys um, send to my channel. I'm pretty sure some of you are wondering why I don't respond to the negative comments. And that is because I don't pay bother people attention. Um, that's just not something I do on my channel. They just get blocked or banned. Um, it's really nothing, you know, so I don't ever take them serious anyway. Um, but back to what I was saying, I do thank you guys for supporting me. I thank you for your subscribes. Um, I thank you for your likes, you know, for talking with me in the comments, letting me know that I resonate with you. That really helps me and lets me know, um, that my message is getting out there. And not only is my message getting out there, but, um, it's resonating with others like myself. So, as you can see, we start off with abundance mentality. A lot of you do have uh, that abundance mentality and mind frame, okay, which is very, you know, good to have. Um, a lot of you will be investing in yourself. Um, for some of you that are on my channel and for some of you that work with me already, um, a lot of you have been coming over to Empress Hustle University um, and some of the males have been coming towards uh, He Hustle University. And I just want you guys to know I really appreciate you guys and congratulate you on turning up your businesses. Um, as the card says, investing in yourself, ex investing in um, what you need, what you want, and just trying to become a better person overall. All right. So we have Rainbow Baby and we have uh, Dreaming, and I'll get into that in a minute. But I do want to state my disclaimer, which is I do not give anyone the right to copy or reuse any of my content, as all content belongs to me and my company, The Brew High's Lair. Um, yes, so thank you um, for that. I really do appreciate you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the reading, your spirit baby reading, and see how it's going to help you guys moving forward. For some of you, uh, it says caution, it won't end well, okay, and this is probably because you're in a bad financial situation right now, so right now may not be the time, so when I do these readings and you wonder why it says right now is not the time or one or two years, that could be because where you are financially, um, you could be staying with someone, you could be at a dead-end job. You could be at a job that is not going to uh, let you take maternity leave or, you know, is going to fire you because you've missed work too much. So just take that as it resonates. You know, don't try to force the message. If it's you, it's you. If it's not you, then don't worry about it. Um, for some of you, it says a windfall of money is coming your way. So congratulations um, on your abundance. As we see here, you have that abundance mentality. So naturally, you know, money is going to come to you easily, freely, and effortlessly. Um, just because of the way you think, you know, um, because of the energy you give as well, too. You're staying very positive, so that helps. Um, some of you are afraid of change. This could also be... Um, why this caution is here okay you could be afraid of changing and the spirits could be telling you to get out of that energy because it's not going to help you or your situation um the dad could be afraid of change as well maybe he's not ready 
to do um to have a baby yet so that could be that so just take it how it resonates this could deal with a co-worker a boss or a family member as well okay um we have motivating others to succeed okay so this could be you this could be someone you know um or maybe it could be something that you need to do for some of you maybe you have people around you who need to be motivated maybe you're spiritual and you already know this um maybe this is going to be a job because this is a money deck so maybe this is a business that you need to create so you can um, make the money that you want to make but you may be afraid to transition into that because you may not you know be sure how other people are going to perceive you your message or your information but don't worry about them just keep going on and doing what you have to do all right this one says a wealthy woman rich bitch hustler and provider so this could be some of you um who decided to join empress hustle university because this is a school for entrepreneurs and a lot of women are becoming very successful by you know joining my university so shout out to you if you are not a student of mine you know shout out to you for making your money doing your thing however that you're doing it um, again the reading started off with abundance so a lot of you watching this or a lot of you who are going to see this um y'all y'all really have that you know that hustler mentality and the universe really shines upon that okay um for some of you you're going to be relocating so congratulations you're going to be either moving to a new home uh, some of you are going to be moving to a new city a new state and a lot of you are moving for your business so congratulations to all of you um, this card right here says paying off financial karma. So whatever karma you occurred, whatever karma your ancestors occurred, you are paying that off now. So whatever you're doing, if it's working, continue doing that. So then we have cha-ching, you know, money rain, money shower, right? Um, like I said, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's working. Some of you um, may not be doing that, you know, because you are afraid of change. But maybe if you transition into doing, getting out your comfort zone and doing what um, the universe is showing you um, that you need to do, you take those signs, those messages and apply them to your life, then just maybe um, you may walk into that season of money. Yeah, we have new ride, new upgrade. So definitely listen to the universe on this. Start that business. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about the naysayers. That's all they do is talk. Go with what you hear, see, and feel. Because you could be missing a big opportunity by not starting this business um, out of fear. Yeah, the car says sign that, that damn contract. So definitely go ahead and do whatever it is you need to do um so you can go ahead and start your business because it's really gonna um, help you some of you are doing unnecessary spending uh, this one says perfect timing everything coming in at the perfect time so again um the universe is in your favor this is the year of rewards don't miss out on the war rewards because you're scared of change it says you're in for a sweet surprise so that's that could be money wise and that could be uh baby wise too because you may think it's not going to happen but the universe is like no it's going to happen you're making um all the right choices but definitely uh move in silence everyone does not need to know your moves all right we have take your time and then we have toxic work environment. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you are working with a friend, maybe your homegirl, maybe somebody you know, you've know you known for a while or you met at another job and you guys have decided to go in business together. Um, this person could be limiting you, okay? Maybe your ancestors want you to work on your own. 
but you're scared to work on your own. Um, you just have to realize that you don't you don't need these people to to do what you feel led to do. Okay, uh, some of you may be a Pisces, um, or Dad may be a Pisces, or you guys are gonna have a Pisces baby. Um, your friend may be Pisces. We have Capricorn coming out, so you could um, you could conceive in that season two, um, Pisces. You could conceive in Pisces season two. Um, you could have a friend that's a Capricorn. You could have uh, dad could be a Capricorn, baby could be a Capricorn. So just take that how it resonates, but. Back to the friend thing, don't let that get in the way because I feel like some of you have a friend who um, they make more all of the, si the, the decisions for the business than you do. And that could be why you got that caution in the beginning. Okay, some of you are definitely going to be watching your baby grow, listen to their heartbeat. So you're going to be buying the monitors where you can do so yourself without having to wait to go to the doctor dad is definitely going to be a big help which is probably why he's telling you to stop doing business with this friend some of you um, may need to go to the doctor and get some sort of fertility treatment for your baby to be born or well should i say conceived if you're having um problems getting pregnant Let's see what else we get Um, for some of you, your baby will be an athlete. For some of you, a uh, baby will be daddy's little princess. So it looks like we have girl and boy energy. It could be twins. It could be singles. Some of you are going to be uh, pregnant at the same time as a friend. Um, for some of you, you're already pregnant and you're setting up your baby's room. So your baby wants you to know that they see that. And that they are very grateful for that. Those type of things make babies happy in the spiritual realm. Um, this card here says pregnancy is a beautiful experience. Enjoy the journey. So definitely don't be stressed out. Or worrying some of you will um, have a chance of conception in the fall so somewhere in autumn maybe after that fertility treatment um, for some of you your baby is going to be moody and fussy sometimes and just remember that this could be due to um, things that they remember or uh, dreams that they're even having from them being in the spiritual realm as well okay some of you are scorpios some of you for some of you dad is scorpio um, or you guys are going to have a scorpio baby and or you're going to get uh, pregnant in scorpio season or your pregnant uh pregnancy buddy may be scorpio capricorn or pisces because those are the those are the zodiacs that came up some of you are going to be feeling pregnancy symptoms and some of you may be feeling them now and wondering if you're pregnant but you it could be too early and you may find out in february or march in pisces season some of you are going to be getting those blood tests to see if you are pregnant. Um, those blood tests are going to actually verify for some of you that you are pregnant. Okay, so for those of you who say you took a pregnancy test, it says negative, um, but your cycle hasn't started, you may find out you're pregnant through blood tests. For some of you, you're going to have delays in your pregnancy, uh, well, before your pregnancy, before you actually conceive um because of your free will and then for some of you um you're going to be pregnant or you already are pregnant and the baby is being delayed in coming all right for some of you you are either going through a miscarriage right now currently you've been through a miscarriage 
and or um, you may have a miscarriage and this is because right now is not the time um, something could be wrong which is why blood came out too and there may be some treatment um, that you need to do so if you are experiencing any of this I would definitely reach out and call your doctor however after um, that card comes out it says chance of conception in the summer so don't be discouraged because it's gonna happen all right um, at the bottom of the deck we have new moon new beginnings so you may get pregnant around the new moon or you may find out that you're pregnant around the new moon just only take it how it resonates um, yes for the ones that I just talked about with the miscarriage your baby um, is telling you they're gonna bring you a lot of happiness um, so really don't be discouraged okay everything is gonna work out as it needs to in divine timing um, for some of you it's gonna be within the next few months so congratulations um, for some of you, you're going to be so excited that, you know, this baby has got here. So, baby's going to be sleeping with the both of you guys in the bed. You're going to want to keep an eye on the baby all the time, which is, you know, really normal. Just, you know, be careful, be safe. Make sure you guys don't roll over on baby. Um, we have Sagittarius, so you could be a Sagittarius. Um, your husband, you know, or your, the dad could be a Sag. Um, baby could be a Sag. You could get pregnant in this season or your pregnancy buddy could have those placements. And even if you are not, um, even if these zodiacs are not, you know, your first sign, then, well, your, I should say your sun sign, then these placements could be somewhere um, within your top three. All right. So whoever is having delays of baby's free will, they will have to induce your labor. Okay. You. That's why you may be worried. You may be scared. It's really not that bad. You know. Um, they go about the process very. You know. Good. It's. It's not harmful. You know. It's not hurtful or anything like that. But you know they have to do what they have to do to get the baby out and to keep you safe so don't you know try not to stress out over it okay this is an angel baby all right they've been through this before they're going to be good um the divine is covering them your ancestors and your spiritual team is covering them so just don't worry all right a lot of you are going to be doing um hand casting for your baby a lot of you are seeing the messages in the sky, so your baby is communicating with you through aromancy. For some of you, it's going to take up to a year. Um, but your baby is saying, I'm so blessed to have you as parents, so it was really worth the wait. Okay. Um, your baby is thanking you for always being there for them going through all the things that you have to to get them here in this plane um this card says daddy loves taking care of me for some of you you are pregnant now like i said and you don't know it because it says baby in progress congratulations are in order this one says i will be musically talented all right so some of you may be musicians or artists and your baby is going to inherit those traits um new moon new beginnings came out again so you could get pregnant during a new moon you can find out you're pregnant during a new moon um either way it goes uh the new moon is going to bring in so many new beginnings for you guys which we talked about in the beginning your baby is going to have the cutest little toes and we have um, chance of conception in winter which we have Sagittarius season and Capricorn season out here so it could be um, later within this year that it happens 
you're gonna love sweets you know just be very careful um that you're not doing anything that's gonna hurt you or baby for some of you i just said your baby's gonna be an artist and confirmation some of you are gonna have to have a c-section and this may be because of them inducing your labor um for some of you your baby is gonna be shy um and a bit quiet okay so maybe they didn't have um such a you know crazy ride on the other side type of thing Some of you may be stressing too, um, which is why there are delays because your baby went through so much on the other side. Maybe baby is processing that trauma. Um, the doctors are really not sure why, you know, your baby is not coming out, but um, there could be some things going on or that went on on the other side that, you know, was just really stressful on your baby. So they may not be ready to come yet. They may think those things may happen here. All right. Let's see what else we have? Some of you are buying strollers for your baby already. So, like I said, you're already pregnant. Some of you are going to have a Libra baby. Um, dad is a Libra. Baby's gonna be a Libra. You could get pregnant in this season and or your pregnancy buddy could be a Libra or they could deliver in a Libra season. It says, I love when you read me uh, fairy tale stories. So your baby's going to love for you to read to them. Some of you are going to be um, reading your baby traditional stories for those of you who have those stories. Um, some of you are being guided to take prenatal vitamins. Maybe that's what you need to take to help assist you with pregnancy. Um, for some of you, baby says they're on the way very soon. For some of you, your baby, or all of you, your baby um, may like to cuddle. For some of you, you're going to receive a negative test if you're testing right now. For some of you, uh, baby's going to be very happy and content. When babies are really happy and content, I think it's because of the parents, but I also think it's because they didn't have a rough ride. Um, on the other side everything went smoothly because for a lot of people um, your babies are fighting uh, karma you know um, past past karma like for ancestors and so on um, some of you these two came out around the same time some of you are going to receive a positive uh, test and it's going to be twins so congrats some of you may be a Virgo or having a Virgo baby. Um, you may be cross-watching um, different spiritual baby uh, readings, um, and you may happen to be a Virgo. Your twins could be Virgo. A lot of you obviously are going to have an instant bond with your baby. For those of you who have had miscarriages, your baby wants you to know that they are always with you. Virgo is at the bottom of the deck again, so this does have some significance. Maybe you're watching this in your Virgo. Um, maybe your babies will be Virgos. Maybe your pregnancy buddy will be Virgos. Maybe the person delivering your baby is going to be a Virgo. Some of you are going to have a natural birth. So you won't be having a C-section for some of you. 
some of you are going to be having baby boys. I told you we had baby boy energy out. Um, surprise, you'll be so surprised when you found out um, our gender. So that's for the twins. Okay. All right. Let's see what, for my spiritual people, um, let's see what your spiritual ancestors have to say to you things you should do or be mindful of with this pregnancy if you are not spiritual then this section of the reading will not be for you some of you or your ancestors are star seed witches um, you will master, you are the master of your fate. There is no right or wrong decision. Fate, oh soul, cosmic blueprint. Okay, so whatever you're doing, keep continuing to do that. Some of you are the stern witch. Apply yourself to your path more fully and create more structure in your life. Responsibilities, inflexibility, and discipline. Some of you are secretly witches. You travel the unknown. You learn what you're capable of. Um, you'll learn what you're capable of. Unknown secrets and mystery. Let's see what else. Some of you are shamanic witches. Shout out. Um, trust your dreams. They will, will pave the way for unlimited possibilities, spirituality, spiritual world, and dreams. And if you remember, the reading started off with um, dreams. Okay, so your baby may be communicating to you what is going on in the spiritual realm. Um, which is one reason why I believe babies, when they cry, they, when they're asleep, they just like scream to the top of their lungs. Um, some of you are web witches. Um, what are you being lured to? Make sure to the right place, your efforts in the right place. Um, connection, dedication, entanglement. Okay. I don't really agree with web witches just because uh, everything my family did is something that we take serious. Um, I talk a lot about Google witches for those who know me, you know, they, they learn things off the internet and want to try to tell you what to do and how to do it. Yeah, I would leave that alone and leave that to people who've actually been doing this. All right. A lot of you are fire witches. All right. You're into pyromancy. Okay, you know how to use um, your fire magic. Shout out to you. All right, shout out to all my fire witches. All right, transmute bad situations into something positive to find inner peace and happiness. Passion, excitement, and anger. Okay, so just let them talk. Don't worry about them. Do what you have to do for you and yourself because they may be trying to stop um, what you have going here. Some of you are elder witches, okay? You've been doing this for a very long time. Your family um, has done this and transcended down all this information to you, okay? You have learned so much. Now it's time to live from the wisdom you have gained. Um, maybe it's time for you to become a mentor. You have that mastery, all right? So you're definitely going to become a teacher here soon. Some of you are devilish witches. Um, get rid of whatever is holding you back. All right, and begin the process of untangling yourself. Addiction, bad habits, and blockages. All right, so this is not the type of witch you need to be. This is not the type of witch your baby wants you to be. Um, and this could ultimately be causing your blocks as to why you can't get what you want. So you could possibly be doing all the magic in the world to get you um, this baby that you want, but your baby's not coming in because of your ways. And the first step is to admitting really who you are and breaking those habits and those um that control that you're used to, you need to break that addiction. All right. Um, some of you are called gym riches. Shout out. Um, you, you're ready to birth a new dream that's been emerging within you for some time. 
alchemy newness and under pressure so if that is you shout out to you continue to do what you're doing i hope this reading helps everyone that it resonates with if this reading does not resonate with you then just come back um, to the channel and maybe another reading will at another time but if nothing resonated with you, then this is just not the reading for you. If this reading did resonate with you, please let me know down in the comments. All right. I will talk to you guys later.